Hello, in this video I'm going to go to the next step which was the practice session and uh, I'll show you what to do in that practice session. Now that session is for 30 minutes as they have mentioned in their website. So I may not be able to record the entire thing because the video will be too long then. So just see uh, how long I can uh, record and show you the initial steps. Okay, so I'm on no more platform right now. I'll click on login and uh, it will take me directly to the next page okay so you can see we left the previous video on this page where we are going to start the test preparation so I'll click on continue now it says uh, it is time to prepare for the test no more no matter how experienced a designer you are you need to understand the no, no more way in order to pass the test watch the following three videos so they have three videos here design the no more way then uh, there is next video it is time to prepare for the test project types and uh, the next video common mistakes to avoid what not to do I guess these videos uh, are actually based on the PDFs that we saw earlier okay so it, it is uh, something similar to that uh, PDF content because the first screen tells us the same all right so I'll go through these three videos and then probably get back to this recording or the video thanks a lot for watching So you saw that uh, those three videos were actually the PDF files that we went through already. Okay, so you can click on continue. Now here the next step is uh, don't miss these resources. Only few pass the test, but 99% of those that uh, do have studied these documents very carefully. Okay, they that do have studied these documents very carefully. So they're saying that uh, these two downloads are very important okay the guidelines how to make good presentation slides and uh, examples of good before and after slides okay so let's download them and uh, check them out understanding guidelines okay client guidelines example a name of client nordic consulting title goes here in Poppins back 24 okay so these are actually good uh, documents subtitle goes here in Poppins medium size 12 so this is not something which we have already seen okay this is something new typeface uh, course this is a quote so this is a kind of a document which uh, will tell you how exactly you need to design that particular uh, presentation or the slide deck okay so graphs how the graph should be all right client inspirational material one okay Nordic consulting okay so these are all examples okay client guidelines example name of the client executive advisors title goes here in IBM semi uh, semi bold size 24 then colors highlight typeface all right graphs again th these are the different ways of representing the graphs as per the client requirements okay client inspiration all right so this is a, an infographic which we saw earlier in one of the PDF documents and this is some inspiration four out of four so you can use these kind of colors okay so that's the document number one which uh, will save somewhere
Now let's see the next document. Uh, examples of good before and after slides. So this should give you a clear idea of how those brush ups uh, should be done. No more platform, good examples of before and after slides. Okay, visual enhancement, brush up, and notes to slide and data input. All right, so they have given all examples of, uh, I mean, examples of all three types of work that you can get on No More Platform. Visual enhancements, uh, okay, so these are the input slides, and probably that's the output side on demand. Online streaming services are becoming increasingly popular, so please give me visual enhancement according to our guidelines highlight netflix and add icons that's what they're saying so that's what they have given they have highlighted netflix like this you can see this and they have, they have used icons like this okay teamwork is the key to success please insert picture so that's the picture that they have inserted as an output you can see this so this document is, is awesome. It has uh, 76 slides. So you can see uh, the input slide and the output slide. So this will give you a lot of expertise or a lot of uh, insight on exactly how you need to work on the slides and what they're expecting from you. Okay. See these are all going out of the, uh, the guidelines. And uh, this I think we have seen earlier as well. Alright, so this document is also going to be very helpful and there are 76 slides. You can take your time to go through each of these slides before you finish this practice session. So I'll do it. I'll do it before I take the test. Okay, so let's not uh, go through more slides. It will make this video unnecessarily longer. Alright, so let me save this file as well. Okay, so I've saved this document as well. So I'll see what's next you can always study these documents more at the practice section okay all right so you can click on this practice section to go through these documents again now let's click on continue and see what's next okay well done now you are almost ready to take the test please continue to receive the last information before the test okay you don't have to complete the application process all at once. Again, they are saying that you don't have to complete everything together. And now that you have completed the first two, the last um, step is to go for the PowerPoint test. So that will be my next thing. I'll click on this continue button and uh, probably go to the PowerPoint test. So that's all in this video. Um, let's see the PowerPoint test in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching.